Look at all the beautiful things around us. We can and have created them all. Look at all the beautiful things around us. Tell me, how can one person stand in the same spot and see the immensity of beauty while another sorrow? It is in our experience, it can be said that we all have our worlds to process by our individual consciousness. But look here, our awareness remains constant behind all thought and angst, just operating in different bodies. It is in how we choose to experience ourselves in these bodies that we create our experience. One great I, different eyes. Who would not want a perspective of beauty? One who is addicted to their self-pity? One who is addicted to viewing the world of lack? This one will continue living in their reality as such. That is, until the breaking happens. The egg of lack is cracked open, and light shines upon it. At first jarring, discomforting, stripping of the illusion that once was, thought to be all life is. There was comfort in the lack of mindset, permission to remain unembodied, walled up and safe in the egg. This is not to demean anyone's experience of hardship, for it can feel like hell. This is to say that this experience can be shifted all very well within the awareness we allow to rise forth from within. If you feel unwell, perhaps chaotic or scattered, know this too shall pass. Breathe. You are awake. You are eternal. Remember, don't you remember? I am here too, in this remembering, this remembering in each moment. I write in the trust that these words are interweaving themselves inside your subconscious as your conscious mind sharpens its sort of light and discernment, first towards all dark corners within oneself. There is purity in the curiosity brought to our darkest nights. Pick an affirmation, something you would like to see in your life unfolding, or a feeling you would like to feel. Every day, in every way, I am getting better and better. This is a powerful neural affirmation to write down, neutral to one's position toward it, as it is general enough not to cause distrust. Physically writing solidifies the vibration by getting one more focused in their energy through the physical concentration of pen to paper. With consistency, the conscious mind will override the subconscious autopilot, physically rewiring neural pathways. In a sense, we train ourselves into the reality we want to see. This concept can be clearly seen in lucid dreaming methods. The dreamer will eventually repeat the motion or ask if they are dreaming in the dream state as their conscious, repetitive action has seeped into the dreamer's subconscious mind. The more clear, unrestrained focus you can place into an affirmation, the quicker it manifests into feeling and momentum almost bringing one into a trance of their own making. What kind of trance are you creating? <laughs>